Hello, this is Jeff, and um, I've been having some fun, and I want to show you some of the, the fun. So, um, I made a video the other day about how to invert whoosh, tracks so that you can use a pot to twiddle between the two different tracks. So. Um, here's here's just a start. So I decided that um, I was working on this tune, Blue Bassa, just for uh, a lesson, and um, I I recorded both a guitar, electric guitar, and acoustic guitar. And I wanted to take those two parts and uh, and make it warble between the two and uh, I didn't I didn't want I when one went up I wanted the other to go down and then I wanted to play with uh, how that happened so what I did first I recorded the two parts and then I imported this um, this track template, it's got these three tracks in it. <clears throat> left, right, and flip left, pan, and it sends it out to um, Guitars Blended Bus. And uh, it has channel tools on two of them. And the channel tools basically flip, take the left to the right and the right to the left. And... Uh, then I create sends on the acoustic rhythm and I panned it a little bit to one side and the electric one I did exactly the same but I flipped the the pan so they're they're both a little off so if I turn off the read enable on the the thing and I play it now if I click let's do it this way it'll make more sense to you when I click this I can move I have to find the right ones shift it around I can move these and when I move it all the way over to one side I have the stereo rhythm track and you notice it's panned a little bit left for the acoustic and the other side and a little bit right is the electric guitar rhythm track and if I move these back and forth I'm shifting between so the next thing that I do to make it fun is I uh, can just draw a, a envelope here um, and both envelopes are identical on the left and the right track and when it plays through you notice the electric track um, so let's just make sure something here if I turn this if I turn these panned right I'm acoustic and panned left I'm, a, I'm electric okay what did I do? Oh, I need to turn that back on. So now this envelope is causing me to shift rhythmically back and forth between the two tracks. And I can put in envelopes of any sort that I like. If I just delete the envelope, come over here to the right track, center it up, <clears throat> then uh, I, I do tools, drawing tool, and then let's say I pick a saw pattern. And I go to the middle, all the way back here, and I click in the middle and pull up and then draw across. What did I do wrong? Oh, I guess I need the envelope. 
So I need automation pan. There's my pan envelope. I click in the middle. I move the mouse up and I'm going to do it kind of extremely. And then I draw it across like this. <clears throat> now I've got this like totally crazy extreme envelope. And if I click it, I'm just do control A, click in on this track and do control C. Then I click on this track. Uh, and delete. Did I delete the track? What did I do? Uh, delete envelope. Right? And now on this, I go back to the beginning and paste the envelope. Now I've got the same envelope on both these tracks, if you look. Right? And now I should, when I play, it's kind of crazy. I don't know about the, uh, the sharp cuts there. It's a little too sharp on the saw. So what if I grab all of those bottom nodes only, then I zoom in real tight again, and I, um, I, oh, I gotta change my thing to the star, and I move all of these out. Hmm, not a working. Let's go to the end here and see if there's a reason that I can't, oh, I can't move them out because the last up node is in the way. Oh, no, it's not. Come on, baby. Why can I not move you? Oh. Hmm. I can move them up and down, but I can't move them right and left. Bummer. Why can I not move you? There we go. So. I'm going to close this up again. I'm going to try to select all these real low nodes for all these measures. And I'm going to try sliding them out again. Oh, maybe this one has to be unselected. Oh, rats. Wait, this is hard. First off, let's just delete this node. Zoom it in, select all these nodes. Hmm, not so sure about that. Did that work? And then zoom, and then shift move. There we go. Now. So that's kind of crazy rhythmic. And I could move them more, or I could just make a saw. So one of the other things I could do is, okay, let's say I kind of like this, but it's a little bit too much. So I, I go ahead and I do a select all. Let's go ahead and look at just the, the bit that has the envelope on it. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab part of it and hold, oh wait, let's zoom in first. I'm gonna zoom in to make this more clear. I'm gonna shift click drag them up and squash them against the ceiling. Then I'm gonna do the same with the top one going down, right, and I'm squash them against the floor. When I let go, now that change is committed. Now I just have to move them back to the middle. So this is like plus 35, that is 42, uh, 51, I don't know, let's try it. kind of cool. You could do the same with the sign or you could do um, with uh, uh, 
let's go ahead. Um, hey, so one of the things I forgot to do that I was just looking at is I need to go and get this envelope and then take it to this track in order to have it match up. Otherwise, I've got two different envelopes working and that'll create all kinds of panning weirdness. So if I go ahead and delete that envelope and then come to the beginning and paste the envelope from the other track. There we go. Now, I have that mild oscillation. It's kind of like a... It's kind of like... Um, uh, what do you call the... Uh, Leslie. And I could go grab some of these nodes and move it maybe like that. Select my envelope here and then go to this one and now I can line them up again. So I'm just going to delete this envelope, you know, bring it back to the beginning paste the other one. Oops. I guess this one has to go to the beginning in order to properly paste it. In order to select the whole thing. Okay. So here, I get that envelope, <clears throat> paste it into this track, notice we're faded right when the guitar hits the acoustic. They're kind of taking different beats. And here it is in context. Side here, that's the acoustic and that's the electric up there. Anyway, hope you appreciated it. Hope you thought it was cool. I hope you have a great day. That's what I got for now.